All right, what's going on guys? Hope everybody's been all right. Real quick, I wanted to do a quick unboxing video of my new St. Crispin shoes that just came in uh, via their made to order program. They just came in yesterday. So I wanted to do an unboxing of the shoes to see what you can expect uh, from the brand. All right, so it comes in a really nice box, protective box, of course, uh, it's cardboard. Uh, first thing that comes that you see is you see a handwritten uh, kind of envelope with your order information on the inside. It's nothing else but just your order invoice on the inside. Uh, but it's handwritten and it's a really nice personal touch. Okay. You can see it's covered nicely with branded St. Crispin's wrapping paper uh, to keep the shoes in so you can open it up. And you see one of the things I really like about St. Crispin's uh, is the nice microfiber suede uh, shoe bags that comes with these shoes and also one of the touches I really like of course is had their branded um, shoe ties or their ties on the back but when you open it up you can see that the back of the shoes are not exposed through the shoe covers which is a really nice touch because a lot of makers will have you know shoe bags but the back of the shoes will be exposed so St. Christmas has this nice inside layer that protects the shoes so when the shoes are in the box they're completely or when they're in the shoe covers they're completely protected so take that and one of the things also that you see is it's a really nice touch that St. Crispin is known for and this is their lavender potpourri that they include on the inside of their um, shoes and their shoe boxes. Super nice, smells amazing and this is just a really cool touch that St. Crispin does. Also I forgot to mention that the shoe information is on the side of the box. Uh, with my name and with the information of the shoes. Uh, we're gonna open these up in a minute and I'm gonna show you what we got, but obviously it's just more wrapping paper and then the shoes on the inside. So we'll take a look. Super nice, like I said, shoe covers. Open them up, very protective and it's a thick material too. Okay, so let's open these up so you guys take a look at the shoes. So I ordered these on March 13th and I'm filming this May 10th. So it took, and I did the made to order program, took over uh, almost two months to get them. But as you can see, beautiful mountain calf, which is a nice green texture leather Chelsea boots. Hand welted shoes. I mean, to get a pay to uh, get a pair of made to order hand welted shoes where they're completely everything is made by hand completely um, in two months. That's that's pretty good. I didn't do the personalized last option, so I went with the standard last on their B chiseled last, and I was kind of nervous to see how they would come out because I hadn't seen any pictures from St. Christmas of the. Uh, of their Chelsea boots in a B chiseled last. Normally they just come on their classic last, which is a nice round toe. Um, so I wanted to, you know, get something a little aggressive, uh, more stylish. I was kind of inspired by uh, Gatsion and Girling's uh, Burnham T on their TG773 uh, last. And those boots are have very uh, nice, sharp last definition and just very attractive and stylish to look at. So I went with the B chiseled last year and you can tell it has a nice slope and nice definition to the toe. So it's a nice, you know, kind of chiseled toe, of course, but it has a really nice definition to the toe. So it slopes at the bottom, which I think is a really nice touch. And this leather is amazing. And check out the bottoms. So I went through the made to order program. So I got, um, of course it's hand welted and I decided out for the half rubber uh, sole piece because you know, obviously these are boots and I'll be wearing these and walking with them a lot. And I just wanted to give a little extra durability and grip to the soles. So I went with their Vibram half sole, uh, which is includes a heel piece as well. I went with my initial three digit, um, my initials um, on the waist. As you can see, you can see their peg waist, which they use wood pegs, um, like a lot of boot makers use in their waist is how they keep the waist so tight because they don't have stitches through here. So they use peg waist, which keeps a nice narrow waist. And I opted for metal toe tips, as you can see, metal toe tips. And also wanted to add just, you know, extra style 
affectation of including the toe tacking. I didn't have to do that, it, you know, it's just stylistic purposes, but I think they're very, they did a great job on these, really beautiful. And you can see on these as well, just beautiful. Did an excellent job. Nice, beautiful, tight waist, as you can see. Super nice last definition. They're just beautiful shoes. And of course, when you're paying this much money for a pair of shoes, you gotta get shoe trees. You know, you're kind of doing yourself a disservice if you're ordering a pair of, you know, very nice, expensive, hand um, welted shoes and you're not getting the shoe trees. So of course, St. Christmas is not, also they include this little bit of, um, they include a little bit more of lavender potpourri on the insides of the shoes for both. And this is on both. I was stuck in there, but oh, here it is. So of course, like I said, you gotta get your shoe trees uh, because this is what keeps it helps, keeps the uppers uh, a decent shape. And of course, St. Christmas has fully lasted shoe trees and you can opt for uh, maple or cherry. And between the maple or the, actually between, I believe it's the cherry options, you can opt for hollowed or completely solid wood trees. The hollowed wood trees are a nice upcharge, a little bit of an upcharge, but I believe they're definitely worth it. <clears throat> Beautiful shoe trees. I mean, the shoe trees, it takes days for them to make anyways. And of course they're fully lasted and they're hinged. So when you're taking these out for the first time, it can be quite a challenge because they are, um, not easy to take out when you're first doing it because of course these are fully lasted so when that means that they're basically matched perfectly to the last the shoe is made on so it really can help keep the creases away and just keep the shoes keep the moisture wicks the moisture away from the shoes and there's beautiful so you can see some hollow shoe trees from some makers it's only a little bit that's hollowed but here at st christmas hollows out like a really good bit the majority of these uh, the shoe trees is hollowed out and this helps to keep the shoe tree nice and light and also helps the air flow through them and keep it nice and um, keep the moisture away when you're wearing them. So like I said, when you first get them, I mean, it can be quite tight taking the shoe trees out. And also with the Chelsea boot, you have to be careful when you're taking the shoe off and on and also when you're taking the shoe tree out is to when pull the shoe tree out at an angle. Instead of putting the shoe tree or putting your foot straight down in it like that, that's stretching out the leather unnecessarily. Because although Chelsea boots have this nice elastic that they're known for on the sides, just make it easy to take it off and on. You don't wanna put undue wear on the uppers here. So when you take it, take the shoe tree in and out and your foot in and out as well, do it at an angle and then twist it and then come in there. So it stretches the elastic and not the leather. So yeah, that's what you get. That's what you can expect for um, you know, a pair of St. Christmas. When you see on the inside of the, the tongue, it has um, information as to the shoes, um, the uppers, and as, as well as the additions that are made on here, like the with the Vibram half sole, and then the heel piece as well. But overall, I'm very pleased with the made to order experience from St. Christmas, super quick. I was not expecting to get these shoes so quickly. Uh, two months for, like I said, hand lasted, hand welted shoes, that's amazing. You're basically up there with bespoke, except this is the only difference between these shoes and a pair of bespoke shoes is that the last is made, not is made from a standard pattern, whereas bespoke is made, of course, to your uh, measurements and to your foot. It's personalized to your foot. But this is a standard last. They're beach heels of last. Um, and it fits me great. I have no issues with it. But there, I definitely want to try the personalized la last option next because you're basically getting bespoke, but you're quite under that price range of other bespoke makers like George Cleverly or Gassione and Girling or Foster and Sons and whatnot. But overall, very pleased. And yeah, that's what you can expect.